Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to do a name collection box. I really like name collection boxes. It shows you that you can show a number in more than one way. There are so many ways we can show and represent a number, and it helps stretch our brains when we show many different ways. It shows how flexible our thinking is, and it shows us that numbers really are all around us. So before we begin, let's talk about all the different ways that we can show a number. One way that we can show a number is by using the word. So we can show a number by writing the actual word of that number. Another way that we can show that number is by using tallies. You remember how to do tallies. Another way that we can represent a number is by using money, by using dimes, nickel, nickels, pennies, quarters. We can also show it with a domino. You know what dominoes look like. There are those little like rectangles with a line in between and then there's dots or pips on one side and dots or pips on the other side. Another way we can do it is if you know the word in another language. Maybe you know how to say that word in Spanish or maybe you know how to say the word in Mandarin. There are many different ways and languages that you can use. Another way that we can show a number is by using an addition or subtraction equation. For right now, we are going to really focus more on addition, addition and subtraction. Now, the Romans, the ancient Romans had their own system of showing numbers. And that is something called Roman numerals. Maybe you would be interested in learning more about that. You could go ahead and learn more about Roman numerals and then represent a number using those. You can draw dots to show your number. You could draw a shape. If you were doing the number three, you could draw a triangle to represent the number three. Why would you use a triangle? Well, it has three sides, three vertices, and three angles. So it could easily represent the number three. There are so many ways to represent numbers. I hope you are ready to try some out. Let's try a number together. First, I think I am going to do the number seven. I can write the word seven. I can draw it in tally marks. I can do a domino. I'm gonna do five pips on this side and two pips on that side. I can do an addition equation. 4 plus 3 equals 7. I can do a subtraction equation. 9 minus 2 equals 7. I'm going to get a little tricky here. I'm going to draw something. This is a calendar. And so I'm going to draw Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And this little calendar can be used to represent the number seven because there's seven days in a week. I'm also going to write the letter G. Do you know why I put the letter G there? Well, it's because it's the seventh letter in the alphabet. That's a great way to show it as well. Boys and girls, I hope that you have enjoyed learning about name collection boxes. Now, I hope you're ready to try your own. See you soon.